bag in their car. It only had a car charger in it for their cell phone. It got broken in and stolen. The next one was a uh, pink coach purse with wallets and bank cards. We can't leave stuff in the car. We're city residents. We can't leave stuff in the car and put it in your trunk and take it in your house. The ne'er-do-wells are going to have it. So there is somebody out there with a pink purse. <laughs> uh, a couple of the other things was two purses, U.S. currency, of uh, various denominations. Again, in the car. So, and that's what the crime exists of. Larceny from autos. You guys not going to put but doing a good job. Just empty your cars. Um, the other thing we had was, after the Irish stroll, was a, uh, two fellas got into a little argument. One guy had a set of keys in his hand, popped the other guy, knocked him out and put a hole in his cheek. Uh, the other fella that he hit got a few knots on his head. Uh, both of them were knocked out. Medics responded, they refused treatment. They did go later to the hospital and get squared away. There was an arrest made. And this was after the stroll. So I'm not defending any stroll or anything, but it was a good one this year. And that it was pretty well controlled. But I think that's because the army of cops did their job. somebody else. Uh, it would specify if it was a DUI or DWI. Um, also, you have a lot of unfounded calls. It was an unfounded call. Basically, it didn't happen. I mean, somebody called the police and hung up or somebody said something and they were unable to locate the complaint. Um, you have a lot of them are field interviews and that's one that I will say the police probably pulled somebody up and did a field interview to find out what was going on. You know, make, they might have been a little loud or something. And they could also be the ones that were issued civil citations. Although we do, you'd have to call the station to get the uh, stats on the civil citation. But we do uh, track those. And those would be your urinators, dis uh, disorderly conducts, and so on. Um, if you don't carry ID, and you get pulled up by the police, your option is go to jail. Because you won't get a civil citation 
without an ID of some sort. And it has to be something with your name, current driver's license, or current uh, address, et cetera, on there. Anybody have any questions? Other ones? Yes, John. I, I want to thank you for deploying the big Winnebago bus at Cross Street Market this past weekend. Yes. I, I feel it was a deterrent. So we, had, we had another good weekend. Thank you. If the crowds were down, uh, the only bar that did something out of the norm, which was Mother's, and that was from 2 to 7, and that was on our green patio. I heard nothing derogatory, nothing showed up on any of the crime. I ran the crime at 4 o'clock today, and that's what came up. So. Oh, absolutely. I think Diana saw his that. Yes, ma'am. How many tickets did they end up selling, and what happened with Cross Street not being closed? I understand Saturday morning a decision was made to close it, but I thought the agreement with the no, neighborhoods was. Saturday morning was actually Friday. What, what happened? Because uh, I thought the agreement was it wasn't going to be closed. Exactly. Unfortunately, things change. I was not privy to what was going on. Tuesday, our major, or our, excuse me, our captain, had all his people together and was doing the site plan and getting things ready. And once they sent it downtown, I believe it was determined at that point that they were going to shut it down. Um, and that was just because there was too many people. I do not know the amount of people. I can find that out. But I do not know how many people were down there. And, and to add clarification, the, the street closure on are you talking about the street closure oh, th this past weekend, or are you no. talking about the, the Irish, Irish Stroll? Right. That was one of the hospitality associations for pre-negotiated uh, street closures. So they now have. And this past weekend, no, there was they, they, so what they did this year, as I mentioned in that email, was they combined. The thought was combine the stroll and the street closure into one day. So they have three remaining. Uh, street closures, I believe, two are for Oyster Fest in October, early October, and I believe I've heard rumors that the fourth one is going to be what they did last year with uh, Cinco de Mayo, whatever that, whatever Sunday that falls on. Does, 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 does anybody downtown ever say if they're selling six thousand tickets and they don't really have the infrastructure or the parking or the places where people go to the bathroom? There's so many people that the street and the photographs show it's completely mobbed. My babysitter and other people are going to point to try to go, who live in the neighborhood, couldn't even get in because it was so crowded. I mean, is there, I, I thought we were supposed to be moving in the direction of not selling 6,000 tickets. I mean, is there, I, believe, I guess I, I don't understand. From, I had a meeting with Bill Cole and with Bob Maloney from the uh, uh, mayor's office and <coughs> I believe it was due to how many were sold, but it was not, uh, it was for a safety reason rather than just leaving it open. The way we, we had discussed it is they would be out from the curb and there would be something, they would be able to serve the beer. In looking at all the people that were going to be coming and historically had come, the decision was made, let's be safe and sorry. So, then they decided to close it. Yes, John. At, at this time, it may have been a safety decision made right. downtown. But Diane, I would encourage you as being the chairperson of the Liquor Committee to look into ongoing events. Because many times, I mean, I believe every time, it's solicited by the city on the street closures and the events. Right. There's somebody at the police station signing off, and we got to watch, we have a new captain that we need to introduce ourselves to. And I believe he's pretty hep already on what happens at Cross Street. But in general, there's somebody from this neighborhood association that may very well be signing off. And I'm wondering, is it the liquor committee? Is it somebody on the board of directors, Eric? That's signing off? For these events. That, that's at the deputy mayor level. That's a bit above my pay grade. We did have a meeting. <laughs> In other words, neighborhoods don't have any input anymore. It used to be, you know, the president I, had input. I would, I would suggest raising that issue to Councilman Cole. Gladly, gladly. Is he here tonight? I would like to bring it up tonight, Mr. No, Cole. He's, no, he's not. 
Okay. We need, to, we need to wrap up now. We got the announcement of the book. Are you are you good on everything? I'm good. Okay. Hey, by the way, I'm taking that. my kids to Indiana <laughs> this Bring summer. Them here. I need any donations that you're going to do by April 10th. We'd appreciate it. Uh, it's $500 a kid. Plus, we've got rental vehicles and gas and food and uh, lodging and stuff that we've got to take care of. So anybody can help us out. I know Diana, she's been on a uh, marathon run because my clicker kept screaming all night and my thermometer was rising high. Oh, are you so, getting a lot? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So, so thank you guys. And if it helps, I mean, we've had $10, we've had 60, <laughs> we've had 100, we've had 500. So just what you guys have been doing, we appreciate it. And you're making a lot of kids happy because they're going to do something that they've never been able to do before and may not ever get a chance to do it again. So we want to make it for them as much of a family vacation. We're going to do some sightseeing, stop at some museums and activities for them. And it's just a, we want them to have a great trip, something to tell their grandkids about. Yeah, All right, I'm done. We've got, we've got like our block and right near me, I kind of put out a challenge and in 24 hours we're already up to like $390. We're trying to get one kid and I put it out on a list for the 1,400 families. And Butterbean, I told them to go to your PayPal. So a yes, lot of people are going. So if you look up Explorer Post 9499, right? 9449. 9449. Um, for uh, Diana Sugg, Eric can direct you to me. Um, you can drop it off at my door. I'm collecting checks. You can do it directly on PayPal. But like you said, these are kids who often never even been outside the city. So if you can give 20 bucks, 30 bucks, we should be able to send a bunch of these kids with what we have in this neighborhood. And the results of the vote, 56 were in favor of going to circuit court, 44 were opposed. Len, will, our board will be in touch with yes. you. Thank you again for your generous offer. <laughs> uh, some of us are going to do a god day after this. You're more than welcome to join us, get to meet some new neighbors. We're going to try and do that every week. Is there a motion to end the meeting? Motion to end the meeting. Seconded.